Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we've got a really cool comic book to look at. It's Normal Man, Megaton Man crossover special from Image Comics by Don Simpson and Jim Valentino, two amazing cartoonists in their own right. Such a great book. Cannot wait to show it to you. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. Okay, I don't know why I opened this up. I thought it was like a wraparound cover, but apparently it's not because this is an homage to the um superman versus muhammad ali cover and um interesting that this is from 1994 and um so image had been around for a couple of years um jim valentino explains how this happened um, Jim Valentino, Shadowhawk, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy is where I first experienced him. I had seen Normal Man, um, like the first, the only other time I had seen Normal Man was George Perez had drawn, um, a pin of, up, pin of, of him and it was in the book focused on George Perez. And, um, I kind of knew that Jim Valentino did Normal Man, but had never read it. I mean, I thought that this was Normal Man, to be honest with you, but it's this dude and the concept's pretty cool. So anyway, um, but Jim Valentino explains all this in the back. It's actually cool how this book came to be and that it, how, like, what a labor of love it was and how cool it is that they stuck to their guns and, uh, made it happen because I guess it was a long time in the making. Um, Don Simpson was self-publishing Megaton Man and it was successful, uh, Jim Valentino was self-publishing Normal Man, and it was successful. So, in a way, slightly kind of similar concepts, I guess, which sort of uh, um, made them competition with each other, like a friendly rivalry, if you will. Um, after the discontinued publication of both series, and they went on to other projects and um, greener pastures. I just had to say it. I don't know. You know, sometimes the dialogue just writes itself, kids. Anyway... Uh, you know, Jim went to Image. I don't know where Don went. Where'd you go, Don? Anyway, I think it says it in here, but, you know, buy the damn book, you guys. Whatever. Who cares? I mean, it's like 30 years old. Nobody's going to profit off of it. If you see this in the dollar bin, totally amazing. So this is like a jam cover by all the, like, respective artists. I'm not super familiar with a bunch of indie artists. Like, my brother was more into, like, uh, indie comics. Like, you know, there's Mike Allred's Mad Men. Um, there's, you know, familiar characters all over the place. Um, you know, I'm a Marvel and DC person, you guys, and Image, I guess. Anyway, Flaming Carrot, Bob Burden. I love his uh, inclusion in this book, and I think it's a lot of fun. Bean World, Flaming Carrot, um, Mike Allred, Sergio Aragones, Terry Beatty, Mark Bodie. Is it Bode or Bodhi? Bodhi Broad. Hmm. Dan Close. Bob Crabb. Brad W. Foster. Dave Garcia. Randy Queen. Interesting, interesting. Dave Sim, of course. Um, so, Jim Valentino and... Uh, what's, what's his name? Don Simpson. Don Simpson. Uh, did this book together like it took them a while to put it together they're kind of drawing their own respective characters sort of plotted it together um, they had a romantic weekend in New York um, hold up at some hotel and plotted it and thumbnailed it Don drew in his stuff came in did his magic Don is currently working on um, a book called Heroin Hotel, and he's been previewing it on Facebook, and it looks freaking amazing. He's like a fucking machine. It's like 30 years later, and he's pumping out this gorgeous art, and I'm just like, screw you, Don Simpson. I mean, but I love it at the same time. I'm so there, take my money. Like, um, we, you talk about, like, underrated cartoonists. I have to say that Don Simpson is definitely one of them. I mean, he does such great quality work um, that looks so good. Captain Everything Bothers Me. I think this must be totally intentional, but um, Jim Valentino's art, like, I think he's a good cartoonist, but he's not a great artist. Does that sound terrible? I guess so. But I've always liked his art. Like, I mean, I wasn't, you know, like, completely blown away. 
and I didn't, I fucking forgot to say it, but this is the inevitable point in an image comic when you turn the book sideways and it was only on page two. So this is like lampooning image anyway. I mean, both books are very um, known for their satire. So you put them together. They, I, Splitting Image was like a book um, lampooning the formation of image comics that Don Simpson co-wrote co co and drew that was hysterical and funny. And they wanted to, jo they ended it with Megaton Man and Normal Man wanting to join the Image universe. And this is like what happened afterwards. Spoilers, they get rejected. And then they go try out other universes. And like, this is kind of like amazing all over the place. And I guess they were just like, to get this book done, like they were um, passing around pages at conventions to the respective, uh, you know, character owners. And, uh, you know, if they weren't at the convention, then they would have them like, I see like there's Jim Valentino's uh, Charlie 27, Nikki and whoever that is. A little bit of 1963 action happening here. A lot of different universes. So anyway, um, and then if they weren't there, they just like copied and pasted in their art or some shit. I don't know. I don't know why I'm cussing so much this episode. I shouldn't do that. I just got, you know, my thousand subscribers. I don't want to blow it for the S word. So anyway, uh, uh, it's funny because the, in the back of the book, Jim Valentino talks about, um, uh, why, like, how humor books don't really sell, and this only sold 30,000 copies, which is, um, interesting to note how different or how the same the industry is. I feel like 30,000 is kind of a lot now, but not really. I mean, I feel like the X-Men might sell, like, 100,000. Like, comics do not sell, like, what they should, you know. Superman sold, like, a million copies when it was, like, 10 cents each, but... Not that they're like five, six, seven dollars. You're like, I'd be happy to sell 30,000 copies of whatever comic book I'm going to finally get off the pot and make, guys. It's coming. Don't worry. Um, <clears throat> very interesting. I know this sounds awful. I, I love when I say crap like that. But anyway, so this is clearly like a Neil Gaiman. The, the thing is, like, I feel like comedy, yes, like comedy comic books, especially in a serious vein, like, I don't know, like, I feel like She-Hulk, I don't know, like, do, do you feel like the humor added or detracted from She-Hulk? Like, I feel like with John Byrne at the wheel, like, I'm buying it either way, but, like, mm, I wasn't crazy about the fourth wall crap, to be honest with you. Like, I'm, you know, you kind of just want superhero goodness, but that said, like, I feel like Megaton Man and Normal Man, like, are funny, but very satirical in a way too. So it makes it for like a relevant, compelling story at the same time. And it's so funny to get, like this page is amazing. Like, like, look how great that is. Like, look how much fun this must've been to draw. And Don Simpson comes in and does all these juicy, like gorgeous feathering and like uh, rippled, beautiful anatomy and dynamic poses and, um, you know, like, Joe Sinnott, like, deliciousness. And then Jim Valentino comes in and is like, okay, here's my part. <laughs> I am not ripping on you, Jim Valentino. I really am a fan, but it's just funny to compare the art like that. Sorry. Okay, anyway. Okay, and I have to call out, like, I totally, it looks like she has a D and Bs here, Supergirl. Like, was that intentional? Who drew that? Who drew that? Was it you, Sergio Aragonese? I don't know. Hmm. It could have been Amanda Connor. It looks like Amanda Connor's art, and she would put a big dong on Supergirl, I feel. No. Once again, no offense to anybody. I don't want to, like, I don't know. Like, there, <laughs> there's no reason to suggest that Amanda Connor would add a dong to a character for no reason. Anyway, I do like the concept of normal man now that I kind of figured it out. Totally dragging um, Scott McCloud here. Hilarious. Love it. Bill Keen is not a fight scene. I kind of just want a t-shirt that says Bill Keen is not a fight scene. Just randomly. Like, because if you get it, like, you're dying. But if you don't, then who cares? Like, whatever. I've seen more random things on t-shirts before. Megaton Man is so much fun. 
Done. Bring back Megaton Man. I've got an idea. Um, I mean, this is cool. Oh my god, this is fun. I love it. I love when they like lampoon like art, like uh, you know things. Like obviously, this is the Cerebrus thing going on. And um, I wonder if Gerhard is Gerhard the name drew that or whatever. I mean, like once again, I'm not like a big indie person, so forgive me. Forgive me, when we get to a John Byrne video, I'll be my usual pedantic self. But for now, I'm winging it, winging it, just making it through this book, which is fun. I think the best thing here is, <laughs> and I love Peter David too, but they totally drag him here. And what is his name? Something Dervish, <laughs> Distracted Dervish, something ridiculous. I don't know, but it's hilarious. Like he totally deserves it um i don't know it's funny like with peter i love peter david's writing but i don't know if it's timeless to be honest with you going back and some of those like surely you just jokes and like really airplane jokes anyway um how fun is this like uh larry martyr bean world once again something i'm not completely familiar with but i don't doubt like how freaking amazing it is and everything and this is super cute and then we get to, yes, here it is. Oh my God. What is his freaking name? Uh, in front, the revamp red, red actor. I don't know. It totally drags him. It goes in here and says that, like how he like thinks of new origins and fixes crap for no reason. And just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of what he was praised for as a writer. I don't know. I love it. It's so good. I would totally... I want this t-shirt. I want it. Should I bootleg it? Do you think I could find it on eBay? I doubt it. 15 bucks, man. That's amazing. Jason Pearson, Bad Rock. We're waiting for body bags, Jason. Just saying. Anyway, Captain Normal and Captain Everything. I mean, so this is just pinups. So this is, uh, I thought it was interesting to note. I feel like Don did this part, his character, and then Valentino did his character. And then Don inked Valentino here, which looks amazing. And then they did their own thing here. There's not one where Valentino inks both of them. Just saying. Um, and here's the big explanation. And it's such a great story. I love it. Like, <laughs> I'll just read it to you. Just kidding. I'm not going to do that. But it's really good. Like, it totally tells about how, like, their history together, their rivalry, come friendship, and their just how this came together as, like, a result of the uh, splitting image, kind of. And um, just a great fun book. I love it. I wish there would be more like this. I mean, I recently did, uh, was it Megaton Man and Jack? And, and let's bring back team up books, okay? Yeah, that's what, uh, here's my idea, Don, for Megaton Man. It could be like an image team up book. And every month he teams up with a classic image character, like, you know, Shadowhawk or, um, you know, uh, Dragon or, again, um, cyber force, whatever. I mean, I'm sure it's a copy night, copyright nightmare that would probably never happen, but I'm there for it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Normal Man versus Megaton Man by Don Simpson and Jim Valentino. Straight up classic. You gotta love it. How gorgeous is that? And I love this uh, plug on the back. Don Simpson's Bizarre Heroes, the ongoing comic book series from Fiasco Comics, available at finer comic stores everywhere. I do think um, you are just as great a huckster as you are talented as an artist, and I implore you to keep doing both. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that like button. Um, share my content. Hit the notification. Um, and that's it. Talk to you guys later. Thanks.